Junior, what I'm taking from what you've shared so far, one of the, the lessons I'm learning is the power of mentorship. And when you have people who believe in you and refuse to give up on you, how that can change the course and the trajectory, the tra trajectory of a person's life, but also the power of choice, that you can have people who believe in you, but you also have to make the decision in yourself I'm, I'm going to choose a different path. And so those two things coming together seem to have led you in a completely different route that you're, than from what your life was taking at the time. Let's move ahead a little bit with the story. What happened next? So I assume you get into college. Uh, tell us about your journey in a, in a few minutes about how you got to the NFL itself, because that in and of itself was a huge accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if you know the numbers, Nikki, but to, to be able to get in the NFL, it's less than 1% of athletes actually get the opportunity to get in the NFL. And if you do the math of how many colleges, Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, NAIA, all these different, you know, leagues in, in college, how many of those players actually don't even get a chance to be able to step in there? So to be able to get there is a big, huge accomplishment. And, you know, I'm just very blessed to be able to have that opportunity to have a little cup of tea in the NFL. You know, I'm no Tom Brady. <laughs> so anyway, so like I was mentioned, a lot of individuals that make it to the pros, uh, it's, it's a very special thing because everybody has a, has a story. And part of that story, there's a lot of adversity. And my journey is no different. So with adversity, you know, those kind of things really kind of help me uh, prepare myself for the pros and what really like you mentioned it earlier surrounding yourself with the right individuals that's why it's so important to have community leaders that actually work for the people that's why it's so important to have individuals who are mentors that actually help individuals because it took one person when i was a kid to be able to change my life it took another person to be able to change my life again when i was in college you know, I had multiple surgeries, you know, with football, very physical. I mean, it's one of the most physical sports in, in the world, to, in my eyes. It's also one of the best in the world because there's just a lot of adversity, but there's also a lot of support within the, in the locker room. A lot of people don't really talk about the locker room. A lot of people don't really talk about the coaches and, and talk about how that brotherhood, that, that team atmosphere really does help a young man be successful in their future. And that's what happened with me. So when I, when I was in college, I ended up tearing all my ligaments in my left ankle. I ended up getting surgery in my left knee. I ended up getting a total left elbow reconstruction of my elbow. So it's called Tommy John surgery. That's where baseball players, if they throw the ball, you know, it tears every single ligament in the arm. Well, I had all of that in college. Wow. And I had that in one year, actually. And so when you're looking at that, you say, oh, man, this guy's done. He's toast. He should be done with football. Well, it was another coach in college that actually encouraged me, that helped me realize that, you know, fighting through adversity not only will get me through football, but it'll also get me through life. And so fighting through those adversities in college helped me overcome, you know, just the basic situations in a game of football. You know, those became easy because I was dealing with other adversity that was way more difficult. And so when I got on the football field, to me, it was easy because individuals that are around me helped prepare me for those adversity situations. And so in college, I dealt with a lot of adversity, which many football players that make it to the NFL will tell you their story about adversity and how it made them stronger. And like you mentioned, you know, it comes, about, it comes down to the individual. You can have all the mentors in your life, but if the individual is not prepared to pick up those tools and build their own future... It's all for nothing. And that's what I did. You know, when I faced adversity, I just picked up those tools that coaches, that players, that teachers, educators, pastors, that they gave me. And I started building my own future with the tools that they gave me. So anyway, so I started building. I ended up becoming very successful in college. A lot of NFL uh, teams, all 32 teams at the time, contacted me, met with me. And by the time I um, graduated, I ended up signing with the um, Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, that for me was very uh, unique in itself because it was like, wow, I'm really here sitting next to DeMarcus Ware as my locker teammate or or seeing Tony Romo across from me, you know, just walking into it. I'm just like, I, I'm really here. 
so the crazy thing about it is, you know, as a kid, as a college kid, you get used to doing your own thing. This is just a funny story I want to share with you guys. It's, uh, when I was in co- when I was with the Dallas Cowboys, every single day when I was a college kid, I just wake up and put my ball cap on and I just go to work. I just go and train. I did the same exact thing for the Dallas Cowboys. I woke up, put my ball cap on, went to work, and as soon as I sat down, I one of my teammates looked at me. He's like, "Hey, you know you're wearing a Raiders hat." I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like "Raiders hat? I'm a Cowboy." He's like. You're wearing an Oakland Raiders hat. And I looked at my hat, and of, of course, it was a college cap that I had always wear. The Raiders cap. So I took that, and I threw it in the trash. <laughs> and we were right into Let me get that. I want to give no excuses to get cut from this, this football team. But, you know, that's just one of the experiences, you know, like, for me, like, just being able to uh, realize that I'm actually there. You know, I'm, I'm playing with, with the best of the best in, in, the, in the nation. And... All these guys were great individuals. You can just tell by the work ethic, by the way they uh, held themselves in communities, and how they were able to help individuals like myself. And, you know, coming in as a rookie, I mean, it's really, really tough to make it in the NFL. And so having mentors in that uh, stage was actually a good thing for me to see. So That's phenomenal. Can you, um, as we wrap up, we've got about three and a half minutes left. Tell us what you your takeaway from your time in the NFL, whether it was with the Cowboys or the Jets, what were a couple of the the lessons that were given you that you feel would be encouraging uh, to our audience? Because, I mean, your, your story is so inspiring and the power of mentorship and how it's multiplied, like what you talked about with both of your nephews now, one in the NFL, one playing college football, that can be traced back to the coaches, the educators, the parents, the family, who supported you. Uh, but tell us a couple of those lessons that you learned from those those coaches in the NFL that you feel can help folks right now who are struggling with adversity in their own lives. Yeah, and, and that's the thing is like, um, you know, I speak to, to elementary all the way up to business um, uh, organizations, and it's, it's the same message. It's simple, but it's hard, but you got to learn how to become a pro. And so what, what does that mean? How do I become a pro? Well, at a young age, you got to learn how to focus. You got to learn how to focus with your eyes and your ears because one thing that a sport of football always taught me, there's always someone bigger. There's always someone smarter. There's always somebody faster. Whatever it is, there's always someone better. So what do I need to do to become that? Well, I got to learn how to focus and listen with my eyes and ears. And once I did that, I started learning from the best. I started to emulate from the best so those are the things that you could do is surround yourself with the individuals surround yourself with individuals that are going to take you further than you have before or surround yourself with individuals that are going to give you tools that you can pick up and build yourself so being a pro is the biggest thing that i will give anyone advice and another thing that really helped me get through all uh, that i've went through in my life as far as adversity is my love for jesus christ and that's the number one thing that really helped me get through any of these problems, whether it be injuries, whether it be a personal thing, whether it be any type of adversity that I'm facing, is looking toward Jesus Christ and really giving up all the problems that I'm dealing with. 